hey guys welcome back to my channel so to, in today's video literally all i'm gonna do is show you guys how i install a wig that i've already worn before because i've had a lot of comments asking how to reinstall a wig that you've already worn i've worn this wig once before so it's not that old so i'm not sure if you guys want me to do an updated video on how to like restyle a very 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 old wig but i've only worn this wig once um this wig is from rpg hair so it comes in an 18 inch it's already ready made so i didn't make this unit but i didn't like how long it was and the curl that it came in because originally it comes in like this tight 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 curl and it don't look cute so i straightened it out added some layers and block cut it and then this is the final look that i got so if you want to know how i installed and done this whole style Right, so we're not gonna make this too complicated. It's real simple, real easy, and very, very quick. So when I'm reinstalling an old wig, I just make sure that all the flyaways are back, so all the way out of the lace. I make sure that the lace is neat, and I make sure that all the hair is out of the way. So I use my wax stick and a hairspray. Normally I use spritz, but my spritz was running out, so I had to use my free spray. I just made sure I comb all the little baby hairs that I'd previously worn on the unit back and I'll then hot comb it. When I'm styling it again, I'll just brush out the little baby hairs. You'll see me do that. So yeah, we can get the baby hairs back. Don't worry. And then I go in and just do my normal glue down routine, basically. So when gluing down, I just make sure that I use a little comb, well a comb where the bristles are like close together, just to make sure that I can push and comb down at the same time. So the combing you see me do here is me pressing the lace into the got to be and then still brushing the hairs back. And like I always say, like, don't add too much glue because you can go back in and add extra. So I just put it where I think I'll need it. And then I'll go ahead and add more glue if I need more glue. But if I don't, then I did it right. So now you can see here me brushing out the um, old baby hairs that I had before. And I'm just holding them and pressing the lace down in my head so I can clearly see the difference between the baby hairs and the rest of the hair. And by pulling the baby hairs kind of down, it helps me press the lace further into my head. So I just carry on doing that on each side until all of the all of my unit is glued i find it better to um hold down the hair in front because it just helps me keep the lace in place
sort of glue down both sides and make sure everything is secure, right and tight. I just go in and give my uh, unit just a quick extra blast of heat. I don't do this on cool, I do this on kind of like a medium setting just to make sure everything is melted properly. So now it with the styling so I'm just gonna add my elastic band so that it can melt the hair before I do my baby hair while the lace is melting I'm gonna go in and hot comb my unit and also cut it so I was feeling like this hair was a little bit too long and it just didn't make sense so I went in and gave it a blunt cut and the blunt cut was kind of giving me 90s vibes so I was thinking yes I have kind of went in and cut it even shorter after this clip, but yeah, I just blunt cut it, not too short. I blunt cut it so it would just fall nicely over my shoulders. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> so after I matted the lace for a little bit, that's when I went in and did my baby hairs. So as always, I just do my baby hairs with foam. These baby hairs do look a little bit um, exaggerated on camera, but in real life they were so faint. Like I like this baby hair look more than my other ones to be honest, because a lot of time I think I overdo it with the baby hairs. So the fact that I did lighter baby hairs this time, I was feeling this look to be honest, I was feeling it. Um, when you do your baby hairs, don't be afraid. If you feel like you've taken out too much hair, you can always brush the hair back into the uh, unit. You don't have to have the, all the hair as baby hairs. So after I styled my baby hairs, I just got um, a couple of styling strips. I think I picked up about three, so it was kind of thick and like it was secured enough. I just picked up three styling strips and then I just placed them on the unit so that while I straightened it out, the baby hairs would set and you know, they would have melted and whatever. After straightening, this is the finished look. I like this wig way more than I thought I would, <laughs> honestly. Like when it first came in the curls and the packaging, I was so scared to wear it but I really liked it in the end it did come pre-dyed and pre-highlighted so you, and the nuts came pre-bleached I didn't have to do anything like that just plucked it you will have to do a little bit of work to get it to look like this but not too much I just recommend straightening it out and if you're not feeling the length like I wasn't just cut it a little and you good sis you good So this is the finished look. I cut it shorter. So at first I cut it to about here because I was thinking it just didn't make sense. And this gives me a 90s vibe. And I like the brown as well. At first I looked at this wig and I was thinking this is not gonna look cute because the way it was curled and the way it was styled didn't look good. So now straightened it out, it's not that bad so if you do order this wig don't be disheartened if you don't like the curl pattern literally just straighten it out and it's going to look way better than it comes but apart from that any questions you guys have make sure to leave them in the description box and thank you guys for watching bye